Hi, uh, my name is Matthew Stevenson and welcome to another video preview of the 2010-2011 uh, Range Rover Car PC. Um, this video is, we're going to look at um, factory radio control from the Car PC. Um, as we all know we have the BMW Entertainment System and in the back of our cars we have a um, BM54 or BM53 um, radio module. Now with the plug-in, the iBus plug-in uh, and the car PC software we can now control, maintain full control of the factory radio system uh, from the car PC software. So I'm just going to demo that quickly. As you can see the radio is turned off at currently, uh, you can see the orange light is, is obviously not on. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to start the car PC software. <coughs> okay. There we go, that's the familiar um, screen. Sorry about the reflection, it's, um, it's a glossy screen. Uh, okay, right, uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go into audio video and at the top there, radio. <coughs> okay, um, as you can see, um, this is similar to the um, uh, 2010 2011 Range Rover radio screen. Um, what I'm going to do here, we have a few options. We have power, and basically what that does, that turns the car on, the car stereo on. So we're going to press power, and there we go. And the radio, you can hear the radio can turn it down for a minute. Okay, now we've turned it on. As you can see, Capital, that is now listening to Capital Radio, and that is what he's listening to there. Okay, and that's what the station preset that I've got. <coughs> okay, this field here uh, and this field here are red from the iBus, from this field and this field. Okay, so what I'm going to do, just to, just to prove that, um, I'm going to change to, with the car, I'm going to change to XFM. Okay, and if you just watch the screen on the, key, on the um, computer, XFM. And that's what that's changed from there to there. Okay, that's, I'm not touching the computer. That is all red. So I'm going to try the next one that we can see is the rev. So if I change to the rev, you ready? Here you go. There we go. Okay, so um, I'll put capital back on. <coughs> okay, as you can see, so you can control. Um, you can turn the radio on and it, we get the, the display output on here. Next thing is we can actually change presets. So normally on, a, on the radio you change the presets here. Now we can use these six presets. These are all the same preset. Um, same presets as the one to six. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So if I click on Q103, you'll see the top change to Q103. And the radio has changed to Q103. So if I click on the next one, the imagine, uh, next one's Imagine FM. Um, this one doesn't come up with a name here uh, sometimes because it's not a very good signal. So sometimes it just has the numbers. Okay, so if I press Imagine, you'll see over there. So yeah, 104.9 Imagine FM. Uh, and as you can see, it doesn't just show the name of the show, uh, the um, the radio station, if it hasn't got a name, it'll show the actual frequency because that's what that's outputting. Um, also, with the car PC, um, just like with the radio, and you've got the scan functions forward and back, same thing on here. You've got the scan functions here, so if we scan backwards, I click that, you can see it's scanning until it finds the radio station. So, if I go up one, so if I scan up, <coughs> there you go. You can see it's scanning. And that's the same if I do it on here. So it'll just scan. And you can see the numbers moving across the top. Same with the computer, so if I press that. So we have full scan control. Let's just put it back onto um, capital. Okay, um, 
next thing we've got from here um, we have um, car mode now basically car mode is the equivalent of pressing the mode button here now one thing that the, um, <coughs> the car PC doesn't do if for example you've um, been in CD mode here okay it doesn't when you click on radio it doesn't automatically change the car radio system to radio so if I um, if I go into CD mode so you can see I'm on track um, 13 CD5 so if I change to CD2 I'm changing to CD2 over there you can see it <coughs> there we go so we're playing track two, uh, track one, CD two, um, and just as a, a really helpful thing, I've, you see that mini little bit of writing there. Car mode, CD changer, CD two, track one. So when I go back into radio, it won't automatically change it, but it'll display the current output of the screen. CD C two dash zero one so that you know when you flick onto radio that you're still in CD mode. If you want to change to radio mode, really simple, you've got two options here. You can either use car mode, we went too far then, do it again. There we go. So you can use car mode or what you can do is, let's go back into CD mode again. Put in CD mode again over there. If I click band, that is the equivalent of pressing the FM button here. So if I press band, there you go, straight away, you're into capital, you're back, on the radio, you're back into radio mode. And then if I navigate through the software, that really helpful thing at the top, there you go, car mode, capital. So it shows you which mode the radio system's in. And that is across, it's, it's um, on different screens. So if I go into audio video, if I go into portable audio, again it'll show you car mode, what mode it's in. If I go into iPod, it'll show you what mode is the stereo in. Obviously, if you're listening to an iPod or music off the car PC, you want to be in auxiliary mode on the radio system. So I've created a quick shortcut. If you click anywhere here at this on the label, that will change the car mode. So we're into CD changer, we're into tape, now we're into auxiliary. So now, if I had my laptop, in fact I'll connect my laptop up, there's the lead. <coughs> so I've just plugged my laptop into the car system, car sound system, and I'm going to click play. Turn the volume up. So, yep, we're in auxiliary mode, and that was obviously from the car, so I can press. Same with if I go into aux mode, aux mode on the car PC here is auxiliary mode, so it's your line in on the computer. Okay, so you need to be in radio mode auxiliary. To put the car into auxiliary mode so that the sound from the PC can go into the car and obviously if you want to connect an auxiliary device up you need to be in aux mode on the car PC software. Basically aux mode on the car PC software uh, mutes the iPod uh, and any other software that can be playing so Winamp or anything like that and basically turns the line up um, volume on your PC. Uh, okay, right. That's um, that's about it for the radio mo um, radio control. Um, this the software is now pretty much complete. I know we've got a dab here, which I'm not too fussed about at the minute. Uh, I won't be looking at that. Um, I'm going to probably remove that button um, because um, I find that the FM radio where I live is, is perfectly adequate. Um, 
eventually I'll look into dab, but it's, it's not one of my priorities at the minute. Um, my next priority is I've ordered a um, USB um, input card, uh, sorry, yeah, uh, input device, um, which is basically basically going to allow me to um, set up the, the physical buttons on the side of the screen. So on the new screen we have the th three buttons down each side, um, we have the two rotary controllers with volume, and we have um, mode select or something like that. Um, and I'm going to wire that up, and once I've done that, um, the next step, I will be fitting it to the car. Um, the software is now pretty much um, complete. Um, <clears throat> it's took a long, long time. We have communications now, we have phone, oh sorry, we've got email to sort out, but that's not, shouldn't be much problem. We've got internet. Um, so we've got full internet access. Um, got a phone obviously which you've seen before um, all the things have we got that um, oh we've got Wi-Fi so um, vehicle setup connections we have wireless so you can con control the car's wireless networks um, from the car PC software so I haven't got a wireless adapter because this is a virtual PC so it can't see the wireless adapter but here it will list um, all the wireless acts, uh, wireless networks in range um, you can connect and disconnect from the wireless network um, the only thing that now that I really need to concentrate on is navigation because at the minute I'm using a free piece of software uh, well I'm not. this is Garmin but I'm not using that actually um, um, so I need to concentrate on navigation software uh, rear entertainment um, that will come on later on um, camera system that um, you've obviously seen the video preview already of camera system um, that's going to be over the next couple of months and auxiliary ventilation so just a case of creating a screen that can, can replicate this here, so the timers. Um, okay, right, that's um, where I'm up to, and I would say this the, the skinny is almost finished now, uh, and the next stage will be actually fitting it and, and um, testing it in the actual car with the replacement screen. So once I've uh, actually wired the new screen up um, with the buttons and got all the all the buttons to work with the car PC software. I will record another video. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, my name is Matthew Stevenson, and thanks for watching.